being constantly reminded that you should love what you do, that you should be fully invested and present and enthralled and doing it for the right reasons can be really irritating, in particular when it seems to come from a smug, condescending, moral superior tone or presenter or whatever. Now, I may sound like that in this video. I don't really know. I will try my best not to. What I am getting from today's reading, I want to do my best to continually remind myself that the quality of my attention and intention for what I do and why I do it matters most. And if we can do this authentically on with commitment, responsibility, and diligence, that's the aim. And that's what we're aiming at today. My name is Mike. This is the Starts With Me channel. And I am here to help you increase your capacity for resilience and well-being. I hope you find this helpful. I'm not sure if I introduced the reading by Ryan Holiday from the Daily Stoic. July 10th. Love the humble art. Love the humble art you have learned and take rest in it. Pass through the remainder of your days as one who wholeheartedly entrusts all possessions to the gods, making yourself neither a tyrant nor a slave to any person. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 4.31. Stop by a comedy club any weekend night in, La in New York or Los Angeles, and you're likely to find some of the world's biggest and most commercially successful comedians in there, workshopping their craft for just a handful of people. Though they make a fortune in movies or on the road, there they are, practicing the most basic form of their art. If you ask any of them, why are you doing this? Why do you still perform? The answer is usually because I'm good at it, because I love it, because I want to get better, because I thrive on connecting with an audience, because I just can't not do it. It's not work for them to get up on stage at Caroline's or the Comedy Cellar at 1 a.m. It's invigorating. They don't have to do it. They're free and they choose this. Whatever humble art you practice, are you sure you're making time for it? Are you loving what you do enough to make the time? Can you trust that if you put in the effort, the rest will take care of itself? Because it will. Love the craft. Be a craftsman. Well, my initial thoughts about reading that are somewhat contradictory, and the Marcus Aurelius quote doesn't really go along with the reading all that well. Anyhow, my initial reflection on the Marcus Aurelius quote Love the humble art you have learned. Take rest in it. Let go of thinking you need to create something magical that you own and that you are, and let it go to the universe. Let it go to the gods. Remind yourself that you're doing it for the sake of doing it. Now, perhaps that is a bit more in alignment with the reading, which is probably why I thought that. Sometimes I find this Stoic wisdom stuff, or at least this daily reader, missing just common day-to-day -day random stuff. And we don't always have to be trying to make something out of our hobbies or to become the best guitar-playing 43-year-old dad of two or whatever, to have the most popular blog or, or whatever the thing is. What I'm taking from it in this moment is what are the things that I love doing? I love playing hockey. I love playing golf. I kind of like playing the guitar, although I don't make time for that. I love hanging out with my kids. I love reading. I kind of actually love making these videos. Am I making time for those things in my life? And when I do those things, am I present and enjoying them rather than being caught up in the perceived outcome that I'm going to get from it. That doesn't mean I can't have an outcome and have an aim and want to get better and all that. It's more, can I love showing up, going through the motions, doing the practice just for the sake of it, because it's fun, it's enjoyable, etc. I think many people, and I think this is reflected in some data, which I don't have on hand, 
we just work too much. We're addicted to our phones. We're addicted to distraction. Don't do a good job at engaging in our hobbies and in many joyful things. Some people are really good at that. Others, not so much. Wherever you are on that spectrum, good for you. <laughs> okay. Perhaps the practice for today's reading is just list out some of the things, the hobbies, the, the love, the joie de vivre, whatever it is you love to do that you're not doing. Or perhaps maybe you are engaged in your hobbies right now and you are finding yourself not really enjoying it, thinking you should be doing something different or thinking because you're engaged in this hobby, you're not being productive and becoming that all-time leading blogger or podcaster or whatever. And see if you can bring that curious, loving, humble attention to the art or to the practice or the hobby that you're engaged in. Just see, again, just inviting in a little bit of, I don't know, joy, happiness, curiosity, gratitude, whatever, softness. See if you can let go of all the other things that you think you need to be doing or must be achieving through the hobby. That's what I'm, I'm playing hockey this evening, and I'm going to try to practice this when I get on the ice or even when I get in the dressing room with the boys. And I'm going to try to have a good time while I do that and bring in some of these attitudes. Okay, I hope you found that ramble helpful. The reading July 10th, Love the Humble Art. Okay, like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel. Please comment on it. Consider supporting us on Patreon. I'm going to stop talking now. I wish you all the best. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.